Hello everybody, I'm Sirius, and welcome to Playing Express. Today, I've got a couple more updates, along with a little bit more reasonable explanation as to why I am not doing videos that often, and a fanfiction for you guys. If you pay attention to titles, then you will know what I'm reading, which that is... The Last Crusade, which is, again, a sad story. I've read this one before, not like I've, I'm have i going into this blind blindfolded or anything, but anyway, without further ado, let's begin, I guess. No real point in wasting time. Anyway, The Last Crusade by per Paraderpy. I had to read these names before I do anything. Anyway. Applebloom held her breath as she gazed at the clubhouse window. The sun was beginning to dip below the tree line as the sky turned a soft, beautiful orange. Night began to creep its fingers across the sky, silently snuffing out the day. Twilight. Applebloom rushed to the other window, facing Sweet Apple Acres. They told her they'd come from the, fam the Apple family barn this time, and the time was right. Applebloom had already attempted the math in her head several times over to confirm that. She had always been an, an impatient filly. Well, perhaps not as impatient as Scootaloo. But when something was on her mind, she just couldn't let it go. Nothing would, nothing would change that. Her heart beat feverishly. Fever her heart beat feverishly, and she began to feel as if she were breaking into a cold sweat. Although she felt no mo moisture, just just the sensation she rem remembered that feeling. Just the sen just ugh, I'm going to repeat. Just the sen just the sensation she remembered that feeling. It meant, ex it meant anxiety. She'd felt it. O o she felt it. She'd felt it often enough before. Whether it was from her sister Applejack's annoyance with her from some cl from clum some clumsy mistake, or perhaps just a bad feeling before one of Scootaloo's ridiculous cutie mark crusader schemes. Well, I guess we'll see what happens when the Sweetie Belle, if you've been here for a while. You know what I'm talking about. Anyway. The filly smiled softly. They'd been through so much together, the three of them. Just, <clears throat> just the thought of Scootaloo and Sweetie Belle made Apple Bloom... Applebloom's heart skip skip a beat in joy. My God, huge paragraphs. Her thoughts turned to her sister, Applejack. Oh, how Apple! Oh, how Applebloom wished she would she would come to the club clubhouse tonight too, but the filly knew it couldn't be. Applejack was just too old for this. She was too mature for mumbo jumbo as she would call it. It saddened Applebloom to think about it, but she knew she knew too well her 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 stubborn how stubborn her sister was. She just couldn't see thing th she just couldn't see things the way her friends could, but at least she had them. Being a blank flank, the fear of loneliness and all had being a blank flank, the fear of loneliness had always plagued Apple Bloom. The fear of being shut down, having no pony to talk to. Initially, the growing pain had been a had been a curse, but it was because of that very it was, but it was because of that very curse that she befriended Scootaloo and Sweetie Belle in the first place. And they were incredible friends, the best, the best any pony could ever ask for. Applebloom knew for sure. These, 
these days more than ever, that they would never, ever leave her. The sound of hoofsteps broke Apple, Apple Bloom away from her thoughts. She sniffed and quit. She sniffed and quickly whipped, whipped her eyes, wiped her eyes with a hoof. It was, it was, it was still habit, and she, and she certainly wanted to do as much as she could to look strong in front of her friends. They had to see that she was all right. She looked out the she looked out the clubhouse door again and saw and saw two small small figures making their way along the path. Apple Bloom could Apple Bloom could barely s- suppress the widest grin she'd she'd made in a long time. The Philly quickly the Phil what is you? What word what are you? The filly qu- quickly s- sidled herself up against the wall, ready to jump out at any unexpected pony to enter to open the clubhouse door. <sighs> a knock resonated. F- a knock resonated from the door, and it quickly opened slowly. Apple Bloom, we're back. Are you in? Are you in there? Sweetie Bell. Sweetie Bell's voice was was as sweet as her ma- as her name. <clears throat> I can't believe I didn't do the voice. Damn it! I'm bad at this. I mean, I'm awesome. I'm the best there ever was. I mean, of course she's in there. Where, where else would, you, ugh, where else would she be, huh? Scootaloo's voice, <clears throat> excuse me. Scootaloo's voice, though rough and blunt, was just as sweet as Apple Bloom's ears. It was just as sweet to Apple Bloom's ears. Well, I don't know. Maybe she's. Boo. I'm not screaming. Nope. Apple Bloom. Apple. Ugh. Apple Bloom leapt out of her hiding place, all, all the while screaming her face, uh, scrunching her face up, trying to look as terrifying as possible. Sweetie Belle screamed, and shot out of the clubhouse like a bullet. Scootaloo's eyes went wide, but her eyebrows soon dropped, un- unamused. That's original, the orange filly. The orange filly. The, ugh, yeah, 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 I can't talk today. The orange filly deadpanned. Oh, shut it, Scoot. I'm mighty scary. Sorry. I need to practice my voices. I can't switch them on the fly. Yeah, call that. Sc- yeah, call that scary. I'm ten times more scary than, than you. And I'm not even... Scootaloo's voice trailed off. She looked to the, she looked to the, so, she looked to the side and cleared her throat. Hey. Hey, Sweetie Belle, come on. <clears throat> hey, su- hey, Sweetie Belle, come on. Stop being such a... Ugh, stop being such a scaredy pony. It's only Apple Bloom. There was a silence. Then there was a clambering of hooves, and a white filly burst through the door, embracing Apple Bloom with a outstre- without with her outstretching forelegs. Apple Bloom threw her threw her strong pony f- um, facade out the window and returned the hug as best she could. Dry tears running down her cheeks as she as she pressed her head into Sweetie Belle's soft mane. Stupid voices. Ooh. 
Oh dear God! It's, damn, that's a lot of dialogue. Okay, be prepared for awesomeness. I <clears throat> I blind if I didn't if I didn't say I'm I miss you two like heck. Apple Apple Bloom sobbed into into Sweetie Belle's mane. Uh, I know, I know you guys have that trip, 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 ugh, trip to Canada, and I, and and I, and I really hope, really hope you had fun. And I know, and I know y'all can't, can't stay, can't stay here, stay here twenty four seven, but but sometimes, I just don't know, I just I just don't know what to do. All I, all I got is my thoughts to keep me company. I, I can't, I can't do this, sweetie. I can't. I'm sorry. I haven't practiced. Maybe I shouldn't do the voices. What do you guys think? Should I do voices? Or just read it, but with a slightly different voice? Something that I can actually read in. Or read it like it's dialogue. You pick. You guys leave comments, please. Apple Bloom, Apple Bloom looked up at her friends t to see her own feelings reflected on their faces. Even even Scoot's eyes were welling with up with tears. She didn't like seeing them like this. Not for her sake. I'm sorry, guys. <clears throat> I want. I don't want to put this up on you, on on you, on on you, on you, on you, on you, on you. On you. She she sniffled. How's Applejack? Sweetie Belle's voice cracked. She she's great, Apple Bloom. Yeah, almost as cool as Rainbow Dash these days. You see, I can do Scootaloo pretty damn well. Apple Bloom smiled at the at the mention of of Dash. As always, she was still Scootaloo, she was still Scootaloo's hero. Apple Bloom hadn't been in Ponyville Ponyville much in the last couple of months. She really wanted to go back into town. But it was just too close to the spot. She'd gone as far as Fluttershy's cottage, and it was nice to see the ki the kind yellow Pegasus again. But she really just didn't see see every pony else anymore, except for those that stopped by the farm every now and then. Why don't Why don't you go back and? Back into the farmhouse, Scootaloo asked. I mean, at, <clears throat> at least you could see your family more more often. Applebloom shook her head. Fucking dialogue. Applebloom shook her head. <clears throat> I tried a couple. I tried a couple of times, but I. But I think. But I think it caused them more, caused them more trouble than anything, than anything else. Excuse me. I think they can hear me, hear me, and. <clears throat> and I. And I always cause a racket. I don't want to bother them, or worse, scare them. <clears throat> How could they be afraid of you, Apple Bloom? Sweetie Belle, f f Sweetie Belle frowned. You're the nicest pony I've ever met. We're not afraid of you. No pony should be.
Well, y'all can see me, can't you? Of course, Sweetie said. Ma matter of factly, but her face soon, her face soon darkened. Her face soon darkened at the sight of her friends, at the sight of her friends' faces. What? Apple Bloom sighed heavily. Scootaloo looked down. Scootaloo looked down, but her face soon, but her face soon heart hardened, with a determined, with a determined anger. That's it. Apple Bloom and Sweetie Belle jumped at the orange filly's sudden outburst. I can't take this anymore. You're sh you're showing you're you're sh the. <laughs> We're showing you to Applejack. Come on. S <clears throat> Scoot, you're crazy. Yeah, you know what'll happen. They don't. They don't think. They'll think you're gone bonkers. Please. <laughs> no. No, okay. I'm not. I'm not just gonna let you stay here, all alone, all alone, and see you like this all the time. You're really lonely, Apple Bloom. <clears throat> and I can't just sit, sit and watch. You see, that's what I'm talking about. Not just a slightly different voice. Scootaloo shut. Scootaloo shut her eyes tight, as a new stream of tears was beginning to form. Can't. Apple Bloom trotted up to her, and and placed a hoof around her shoulder. Look, Scoot. I know. I know how you how you feel. Gosh, I feel. I feel the same way. It, I. I'd. I'd feel the same way. If I were in your. If I were in your situation. But. It just ain't happening. That that way. <clears throat> oh my God! It just it just ain't happening that way. And and you know that. Ugh, I hate how he's mm, he's doing the. F He's writing the voice into the text, so I have to say it in Apple Bloom's voice. <sighs> okay. I know you guys care about me, and in the same way, I worry about y'all too. I just... Scootaloo's voice was weak. I just don't know what to do anymore. I worry about you all the time, and it just makes me feel empty inside. Well, Apple Bloom's voice became became hard. I've been doing a lot of thinking, girls. I've had a lot of time to think. Maybe I've taken too long to make up my mind, but. I know it's gonna be, it's gotta be done. She swallowed. Now. Sweetbell's voice was, was a mess. Was a mess of worry. <clears throat> Sweetbell's voice was a mess of, mess of worry and confusion. She didn't know what her, what her friend meant by all, by, by all of this. And a part of her didn't want to find out. She realized that Scootaloo must have been must have must have known better, as tears began to blind the orange filly's sight. The spot, no apple bloom. Oh God, this I'm just staring at this gigantic paragraph of apple bloom text. Why, why? This is torture for me. I gotta scoot. I think everyone has got it at some point. P 
Please don't worry about me. Applebloom look Applebloom looked out of out the clubhouse window. Although the, although the night had had settled in, a brilliance of a brilliance of light, more more spectacular than anything Applebloom had ever witnessed, sparked in spark sparkled in the distance, down in Ponyville. I've been avoiding that that place th this whole time, but. <clears throat> <clears throat> I'm not afraid of it anymore, Scoot. You see? <clears throat> you see, I've I've heard her talk to me. She's been talk she's been talking to me a lot lately. She she tell she tells me it'll be okay. And, and I believe her. With all my heart, the princess wouldn't lie. Scootle wiped her eyes and blinked at her friend. Princess Celestia? Applebloom nodded. But how? I really don't know. I was as confused, confused about it as you are. It's hard to explain. But I just know she's down there, waiting for me. See, when they write the text in, it's hard for me to do the voice because I have to read it the way they write it. I have a lot of editing to do this time. <clears throat> Sweetie Belle, who had been silent throughout Apple Bloom's re revelation. revelation looked at the yellow earth pony with wide eyes. I don't get it. What's going on, Apple Bloom? <laughs> Apple Bloom opened her mouth to speak, but as hard as she tried, no words came out. She looked at her friend sadly. S st stuttering, Scootaloo managed a soft smile and cut in. We're going to... We're going on another crusade, sweetie. The orange pegasus... Get, the orange pegasus gathered her friends into a group hug. One last crusade. The... Wait. No. No, use a triple dash. No, you're supposed to use a triple dot. It's called the famous triple dot. For a reason. It's a triple dot that is famous amongst our YouTube channel here, Pony Express. It's famous. Okay? Now, I want you to go home and think about what you've done because you've just broken my heart. You're not supposed. Ugh. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> the three fillies trotted up on on the country road in silence. So many times had they taken this route, the route from Sweet Apple Lakers to Ponyville. So many times they had they had galloped down the path together, laughing, playing, and acting outright silly. They had gotten into so much trouble then, and the route would often make often make you make use as somewhat of an escape escape an escape from any any from an angry adult or worse an angry older sister. Now they were traveling it again, but there was no laughter, no playing. No angry sisters to hide from, only memories. But they were memories that the three would share together. Applebloom trotted, twat, tw okay, I need to be careful of what I say. Okay, okay. 
Apple Bloom trotted between her two friends. Her very best friends. Nothing would ever change that. A soft smile bl a soft smile blessed her face, and her eyes were closed. She didn't need to see. She could already see everything within herself. All at once. Past, present, and future. She had traveled down this road so many times before, her heart knew the way. Sweetie Belle glanced at her friends. E even, <clears throat> even Scoot, even Scoot, now had a nostalgic smile on her face. She didn't understand. They were they were so sad before. So was she. Why were they smiling now? Where, where were they going? What did Scoot mean by one last crusade? Should she be smiling too? But as hard as the as hard as the little filly tried, she couldn't. Apple Bloom was her friend, and she just couldn't help but worry about her. Something was going to happen. She was sure of that. Something something had was already happening, but like before, she was still afraid to find out. Her thoughts turned to the past. Everything had become became a a strange, a strange so strange after heart, hearts after hearts warming. <laughs> Apple Bloom had stopped coming to school. She had stopped coming out to play. Rarity had said she had gone home sick and needed rest. But days turned to weeks. Sweetie grew angry as every pony eventually stopped talking about her. Even Scootaloo grew quiet. They wouldn't tell her where Apple Bloom was. They wouldn't tell her anything. Sorry, I had to make sure I was recording. <laughs> Then one day after school, <laughs> Scootaloo came, bouncing into Carousel Boutique. She had found Apple Bloom. She was hiding in the clubhouse. Sweet Sweetie Belle, Sweetie Belle followed, and sure enough, there she was. They played, they laughed. They, ma they made mischief. It was just like before. But Apple Bloom would never want to go into Ponyville. And always stayed around Sweet Apple Lakers. When Sweetie, uh, when Sweetie asked why, the the old the the old Apple family, um, what? The old Apple family's stubbornness in her in her surf in her surface, and the Earth Pony and the Earth Pony would say, she just couldn't. Sweetie, Sweetie had eventually stopped asking. The strangest thing of all was that no pony really mentioned Apple Bloom. Applejack talked about her on occasion, but it was very strange whenever she did. She'd always wear a sad smile and have a twinkle in her eye. The others would too, even Rarity. But whenever Sweetie would mention her her new adventures with her earth pony friend. She'd get a worried look from her sister, and on occasion, a stern one. Then one night, Rarity had a talk talk with her. She had told uh, she had told her Apple Bloom was gone, and couldn't come back. Sweetie had Sweetie had. Sweet, Sweet had entered a furious, a, fear, a furious tinter tantrum, and cried herself to sleep that night. The next day, Su <clears throat> Sweetie fran fran frantically begged Apple Bloom to come to Carousel Boutique. 
<clears throat> Wrong character, damn me. They are pretty, sweetie belle. Scootaloo's gaze went to Apple Bloom, and then back to the white filly. The orange Pegasus smiled. A thousand thoughts suddenly went through Sweetie Belle's mind as she as she pieced together as she pieced together the puzzle that had that, ugh, that stumped her for so long. At last, she began to understand, but she wasn't sure she liked that at all. No. Sweetie, Sweetie Belle sobbed as her eyes grew grew watery. A Apple Bloom, t t <clears throat> t t <clears throat> I can't do damn stuttering. Apple Bloom, t t <clears throat> oh my god, damn it! I can't do fucking stuttering. Excuse my language. Apple Bloom, t tell me it's gonna be fine. T tell me you're going, you're gonna still okay. Apple, Apple Bloom looked away from from her, from her in. Apple Bloom looked away from her invisible, invisible, wander. Okay, Apple Bloom looked away from her invisible wanderer. What the heck is? Th I'm sorry. Let me let me read this again. Apple Bloom looked away from her invisible. What? Okay, I'm sorry. I'm terrible at reading. App Apple Bloom looked away from her invisible wonder and turned to Sweetie Belle. I am okay, Sweetie. In fact, I'm great. Apple Apple Bloom's grand grand smile um softened softened as she realized the sorrow in her friend's eyes. Look. What what you're thinking about me right n about me right now? I'm sorry, sweetie, but it's true. I was sick, sweetie, really sick, and well, Apple Bloom struggled. <clears throat> Apple Bloom struggled for her voice again. I know, S sweetie, sweetie sighed. I th I think I always knew. It's just I wouldn't believe it. Oh. Oh, I still can't, Apple Bloom. The the little white filly threw through her arms. Blech, the little white filly threw her arms around her friend. Realizing for the last time how empty the space really was. But she knew it wasn't truly empty. And so she grasped tighter. Sweetie Belle. I don't want to say goodbye either," Apple Bloom cried. "But it's not really goodbye. It's more like a see you later, if you think about it. I just don't. I just don't want you to go, Apple Bloom. I don't. I don't know what I'll do without you," Sweetie Belle cried into Apple Bloom's transparent mane. M <clears throat> <clears throat> maybe, maybe, maybe I can, maybe I can convince Rarity or Twilight or the Princess. Yeah, she she could probably see you. Th then she could tell everybody else, and you can stay. It'll be like nothing changed. We can try really, really hard, and. Sweetie, I have to do this, and I'm sorry. It's gotta be. It's. I'm. I'm sorry. It's gotta be so soon. But, well, one day you will too. Apple Bloom wiped her dry tears away, and pff, fuck. Okay, Apple Bloom. Apple Bloom wiped wiped her dry tears away from her eyes. Heart from her from her eyes hardened. Hardened. What? 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 Okay, <laughs> I'm sorry. Getting off topic. Um. 
Yeah, I just gotta trust me. And me, little one. This is not this is not the voice of her friend Apple Bloom or Sweetie Belle. But a, a motherly voice, as old as time, that spoke now. Your friend Apple Bloom is, is wise, and what and what she tells you is is true. It is it is her time, sweetie Belle. And you must learn and you must learn to do best for her and let go. Apple Bloom wasn't why am I so terrible at this? Sweetie Belle was in shock. In, in shock of the dis, disembodied voice speaking to her. But she wasn't afraid of it. It was a loving, caring voice. Eventually, the little filly managed to, managed to gather up her strength and speak. I... I guess Apple Bloom would be the same, do the same for me. I know she would. All three fillers could hear the voice, and her friend smiled at her. A and if I have to do do this for you to be happy, then then okay, Apple Bloom. Oh my god, no, no, don't do this to me, stupid writer. Give me chunks of dialogue. Jeez. I hate you for this, chunks of dialogue. I will take care of her, as I take care of all, all of you, little ponies. The voice continued. And you will see your friend again, sweetie Belle. I promise you. Although Sweetie Belle and Scootaloo could not see the, the owner of the voice, they knew that she was smiling. For a, for a brilliant in, incense of, of warmth in, company, in company of all three fillies, and they couldn't, help the, they couldn't help the powerful urge to smile. The three fillies jumped, jumped together in a group hug, which seemed to last forever. Their tears had dried, and and more uh, and more of them were were crying now. Not even not even, and none ugh, damn it, and none of them were crying now. Not even Sweetie Belle. They just held they just held their their loving embrace. No words spoken spoken, as as they all as as they all ugh. God. ugh. And no words, no words were spoken, as they all told each other their their feelings. In that instant, there are not three little fillies anymore, but one union, one soul. An eternity, an eternity passed before the friends finally let go of each other. Sweetie Belle knew what was coming, but she didn't feel sad about it anymore. In fact. For the first time, she felt happy for her friend. Apple Bloom turned to Sweetie Belle and Scootaloo, and looked each and looked each of them in the eyes. See you later, guys. I love you. Apple Bloom's eyes once again trans transformed into those beautiful orbs of light. Sweetie Belle couldn't have sworn. Sweetie Belle could have sworn she she saw the form of a of Princess Celestia reflected on their glassy surface, and the princess was smiling. Take it easy, Apple. <clears throat> Take it easy, Apple Bloom. S see you later, Apple Bloom. We love you too. Okay, yay, done with that, man. I just like to point out that um. The amount of cutting that I'm going to have to do when I'm editing this is just freaking insane. 
so many inter so many interruptions in this little um one here and it was um interesting though i really do like the story anyway um for those update update stingies i mentioned um i'm currently planning a couple things i don't like to give spoilers but we've got a lot coming quite a bit and i think you all will enjoy it um um anyway for um the no videos thing um i've been kind of hanging out with some of my friends for in real life for past couple weeks and so uh i really didn't get much time to sit down when i wasn't just tired as heck or doing something else so i finally got around to doing this and it's been a week i'm sorry i'm Said it was going to be a couple days after the release of the last two chapters of The Magic of a Rainbow, but I'm sorry. It, something came up and I couldn't do it. I think I fell asleep, actually. I don't know. Um, anyway. I hope you all enjoyed. Uh, again, I'm Cirrus. This is Pony Express. Have a nice day.